I spent about six months in Mali, West Africa a few years ago and really haven't uh, forgot that experience. I talk about it um, probably every day, probably more than um, <laughs> probably more than I should, um, but it's just it it really impacted the way that I see myself in in Nebraska and the conversations that I'm able to have with other people. We had a mother come in to the hospital and she delivered twins and they were both premature and um, they both needed oxygen but we, it was just like a, we had a ton of patients at that time and we only had one oxygen machine uh, that wasn't being used and so the, we kind of explained the situation to, mother, to the mother and um, she kind of had to choose between the two babies because without oxygen like it really we weren't going to survive more than a week and so we did what we could. Uh, we tried to like, like shuffle two machines around and things like that um, but really it was just it kind of came down to one baby over the other. It's just really hard to see to know that there's like literally nothing that I or anyone else could do you know we didn't have the proper we didn't have enough funding enough equipment enough you know things that we needed to be able to help those those babies and that was kind of during my first month there and so it was really just kind of really shocking for me, you know, to kind of see that firsthand. And the World Energy Project was founded about a year and a half ago, and it's a student, is an organization made of students um, that installs renewable energy systems in the developing world. And it really was born out of my experience in Mali, and like I said, um, just seeing how solar panels and small systems can really impact a community. And so. I really wanted to share that experience with my fellow engineering students so that they could also see that uh, their engineering education can really make a, a big impact in um, other places around the world. It really just started with about I think five or six of us brave souls and uh, we kind of met once a week for about a year, raised some money and then uh, our first trip was this past summer. So about six of us went to Mali and then we sent another couple of people to Kenya to, to do an assessment trip there. Um, so we did a project in Mali this summer. We um, did some solar power drip irrigation systems and then um, we put, put together some solar panels for an orphanage in Bamako. Um, and then we really did a lot of vision casting trying to figure out where the needs in Mali are and where we can really make an impact in the future. Um, we visited the university in Bamako, uh, made some relationships there with the faculty and students. And so now we're in our second year and we've got about 30 or 40 students. We've got three projects lined up for this summer, another one in Mali, one in Kenya, and then one in Zambia. Just realizing that the things that I learn in school can really affect other people's lives. Like the way that we design a well will keep it more clean, which will save more lives and enable more kids to grow up to see their fifth or sixth birthday. Um, so it's really just brought a touch of reality to my education. And um, through that, I think other students have also maybe been exposed to that as well, even if they haven't been to Africa or the places that I've been, um, through the stories that I share or my experiences. I think they've also kind of gotten a little bit of a glimpse of what it's like to live in Africa or other places in the world as well. Um, I don't know if there's like a, a defining point when I made a decision to kind of devote the rest of my life to helping um, others, but I think just during my time there and during um, talking to other to like Malians and my friends there, I just realized that I don't think I could ever have a, a normal career, you know, come back to the States and have a have an office job, a nine to five or whatever, and then just kind of never go back. Um, I always knew that I would go back or that I would do something to help, you know, I just didn't quite know how. And so, I don't know, it was a really life-changing experience for me.